There was a very wealthy man who had all the comforts and luxuries that anyone could dream for. But there was one problem. Isn't life like that, friends? It never gets perfect. You get all the things that you always wanted, but there's always a but. A but to spoil your day, a but to spoil your peace, a but to spoil your joy. So this man had everything, but was being tormented by severe pain in his eyes. He consulted many doctors and physicians and tried several treatments, but nothing changed. He still did not give up. He kept going from one medical expert to another, from one treatment to another, trying oral drugs to powerful injections. But not only was the ache not going, it was getting worse and troubling him like never before. And then he heard of a monk who was supposedly an expert in healing people, especially those who had eye disorders. The man went to see the monk who carefully examined him and after having understood his problem, assured him that his problem would be completely solved and that soon he could be free from his eye pain if he did just one thing. The desperate man was all ears to know what that one thing was. The monk told him that all he would have to do is for a couple of weeks, he would have to concentrate his eyes only on green colors and do not allow his eyes to fall on any other colors at all. As strange as the prescription seemed, having no choice left and hoping that this could be his doorway to a pain-free life, the millionaire decided to give it a try. He hired a bunch of painters who brought along barrels of green paint and painted every object his eye was likely to fall on green. After a few weeks, the monk was passing by the rich man's home and decided to pay him a surprise visit just to check how he was doing. When the monk entered the gates of the luxurious home, the millionaire's servants, keen to assist their master in getting rid of his eye pain, ran with buckets of green paint and poured the paint on the monk's red dress so that their master wouldn't have to see any other color other than green. The now all green and the always evergreen monk laughed hard and said, if only you would have purchased a pair of green glasses costing no more than a few cents, you could have saved yourself so much hard work and trouble. You could have saved all the money you spent on the paint. You could have saved yourself these walls, the expensive furniture and antiques and everything else around. Sad that it is all spoiled now. Saying so, the monk left. We cannot change the world, guys, but we can certainly change our vision and the way we see the world. Whether or not the world changes, which is anyway so much beyond our reach to do, our changed vision can transform us. It can heal our mind, our emotional health. It can heal our relationships, our work, our purpose, our everything. Trust me, it's hard to shape the world we want it to be, but it's certainly possible to shape ourselves first. Begin with yourself and the world will follow suit.